So I want to show you quickly how to do a uh, scatter plot with um, color coded uh, zero and one information. So what I did first is I need to first sort. I need to first sort uh, the raw data in by the class Y variable. So you can either use filter or you can simply just go to data and sort. Either way works. So I'm going to sort by smallest to largest. So now all my zeros are on top, ones on uh, at the bottom. So I just simply need to create a scatter plot for the zeros. So what I did is I will choose the uh, top left cell and then I will scroll down. I will scroll down to find the very last one of zeros. In this case it's going to be here. I will press down shift so I can select the, the, the two dimensional information for AFP and CEA for zeros. Now I insert a scatter plot. So now, uh, once I have this one, I just need to uh, go to the click on the data, click on the chart, and then select select data. Now I can add a second series. So in this case, I'm going to add the x information and y coordinates for the ones populations. So I can go down once and then I need to this time I need to select the 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 AFP as the X axis and then I need to go back to select Y and you simply say okay Now notice that the graph is could be any places. Now okay, now let's, did you notice that uh, Excel would uh, color uh, each uh, series in different colors? So in this case, it's, it's just uh, the default color is blue and orange. And also notice that because for the AFP and CEA, uh, they are two patients has really uh, extreme values. So those are the what we call the outliers. So because of that, you couldn't really see properly the area where the data are concentrated. And so that's why you, need, you can adjust the uh, axis, axis. You can go right click on, and then click on format axis. And then so this shows the minimum and maximum. So I think you can probably tell that a more proper range would be 0 to 20 for the x axis. And then uh, similarly, you can adjust the y-axis to show the proper range. Here, the default is 0 to 200. The reason is to 0 to 200 is you want to cover all the data points. And as I said earlier, the outlier really distorted the whole pictures. So it's not distorting the whole picture, but it just didn't show you the proper uh, focal point. So in this case, I want to change it to, say, somewhere 40, because there's only four points about 40 so I'll change this to 40 okay right, so that that would be so this is a really um, uh, efficient way of capture three dimensional information in two dimensions right so that's what uh, what I did and then let me also quickly run